In this episode, we are going to look at the integration of product type 2. So a situation where we have integral of cos n ax multiplying another sign raised to the power n ax where now we are going to consider the odd powers odd what power so a situation where the sum of the powers is odd how do we integrate such functions so for example if i have integral of sine square x cos 3x this you see that the 2 plus the 3 will give us what a 5 which is what odd so the summation of the powers if it is odd how do we integrate another example we can see integral of sine cube x and also cos 4x you see that 3 plus 4 is now what 7 which is an odd what power how do we integrate first we must know this identity sine square x plus cos square x is equal to 1 we are going to use this identity for the odd powers are we good so a situation where we want to make the sine square x the subject we are going to get 1 minus the cos square x or our cos square x will be 1 minus sine square x and with this we are going to solve what examples under this type 2 are we okay so first let's take the first example so let's solve integral of sine 2x cos 3x is it possible to make this function in such a way that we can substitute any of this yes so first we can get this function is the same as integral of sine square x this is cube so we can get another cos square x and we can get another cos x dx remember this is what dx from it are we okay so now i have transformed this to integral sine square x this course i will split it to cos square x then since it is cube we will have another cos x dx are we okay so this is how best we can get it and since we have a cos and a sign we can do substitution here just look at this we are able to split this cube to get a cos here so that if we do substitution we can find our du to come and cancel out this raise the power one the unit term are we okay so always when you are giving these powers those greater than one and if they are odd you express it in such a way that you get the double what this identity will be suitable for substitution and you will just go by that approach so i've split the cos cube into cos square and cos x what again can i do i can now substitute this into that so that will be equal to integral sine square x multiplying this will be 1 minus sine square x then we have our cos x dx so i can multiply through by what the sine so if i multiply through i'm getting bracket sine square x minus sine 4x then cos x dx are we okay so now i have it in terms of sine and what cos i can do substitution let's my u be equal to this sine x and my du on the x is now going to give me what cos x meaning 
if I make the X the subject, I'm going to get the U on cos X. I can bring it back into the equation, which is integral of this is U square minus U raised to the power 4 cos X, then the X, which is the U on cos X. This course can now take care of that, and that is going to give us integral of u square minus u to the power 4 du. Are you okay? So now with this, we can do what? Substitution. Or we can better integrate this function to get a proper what? Answer. So which is equal to, we want to integrate this u to the power square minus u4 with respect to that and i'm going to get u on 3 cube minus u on 5 plus c so one third u cube minus one fifth u to the power 5 plus c where my u is equal to what from the example is sine x the final answer will be one third sine q x minus one on five sine to the power five of x plus c therefore the integral of sine square x and cos q x is equal to dx is equal to one third sine cube x minus one fifth sine five x plus c very simple are we okay so example two if we have another integral how do we do that so integral of sine cube x and cos 4x dx how do i express this so that i can do the substitution i can see that if i split this sign i can get a sine square here and one sign left someone may ask can i split the cos 4x no if i want to split it this will be cos square cos square you see no work done but here i can split it and get one always make sure you get a linear one any function raise the power what one so like this i can get a sine square x from this multiply another sine x then i can get cos for x dx on before you get a cos x to the power one this is supposed to be cube that would be cos cube multiplying cos x but we don't have any expression where we will have an identity for the cube so better we go with the what the sign are we okay so i can now put in place the sine square as one minus cos square what x bracket let me bring this cos as cos 4x multiplying this sine sine x dx are we okay so we can multiply through the cos to get the answer so this is going to be integral of cos 4x and minus cos 6x multiplying sine x dx so now let my u be equal to what the cos x the u dx will be equal to a negative sine x meaning my dx will be the u on negative sine x let's do the substitution this is going to be equal to integral of u to the power 4 minus u to the power 6 sine x 
multiplying the u on negative sign x finally i'm going to get integral this sign can take care of that u4 minus u6 du and when you integrate this with respect to u there is a negative outside this negative will come outside will be negative one fifth u5 minus negative of that u7 plus c so with this i'm going to get a negative one fifth u5 plus one seventh u7 this is a constant are we okay but we know that our u is what cos x which is equal to negative 1 of 5 cos 5 x plus 1 on 7 cos 7 x plus c so this is the integral of the function sine cube x cos 4 x dx very simple are we okay it's very simple so once you know that they are odd that means the n plus let's say an m here and n is equal to odd this is how we go by it let's look at example 3 so example 3 integral of integral of the function sine cube x and we look at cos 5x are we okay dx how do we go by this we can get a square from this surely from the sign we can get it from that are we okay and this is going to be called integral of sine square x sine x and cos 5x dx since it is odd i'll bring my one on cos square x then cos 5x multiplying sine x dx this is b if you multiply through cos 5x and if you multiply through these two you are going to get cos 7x sine x dx here i will let my u be cos x then the u dx is still going to be negative sine x my dx will be du on negative sine x so i will do the substitution integral of u5 minus u7 by sine x dx which is du on negative sine x this will take the care of that and that is integral the negative will come out negative integral of u5 minus u7 du so i'm going to get negative 1 on 6 u6 1 on 8 u8 plus c if you multiply through negative 1 6 u6 plus 1 on 8 u8 plus the constant where my u is cos x that is going to be negative 1 on 6 cos 6x six plus 1 on 8 cos 8x plus c this is the final integral of the function sine cube x cos 5x dx so this is how you go by if it is odd what if it is even a situation where 
the powers sum and they are even for example integral of let's say sine square x and cos 6x now 6 plus the 2 is going to be what 8 and it is even how do we integrate such functions thank you for watching this episode and watch out for the even one in the part 3 thank you